In this video we're going to explore some of the cool features of uh, the UI kit in uh, Adobe XD. So you can use uh, several UI kits and uh, one of the good things is that um, if for example you want to create uh, some uh, forms or some inputs uh, fields like we're going to do in this video, you can simply use them from uh, the UI kit. So in this case we have uh, a few options and um, as you can see the differences uh, are uh, uh, basically grouped uh, into artboards and um, if for example we want to create uh, some uh, fields um, we can simply uh, go ahead and uh, copy this and uh, let's go back to this artboard for this example and you can simply um, use them directly and let's center this up Let's make them of the same width. And let's also remove this one since we don't need it. And uh, let's duplicate this by uh, using uh, the option plus uh, uh, shift and dragging. And uh, this is going to allow us to create some uh, inputs as some uh, screens uh, really quickly. And uh, now let's go back to these uh, top uh, uh, UIKit elements and uh, let's search for a button. So we can use, uh, for example, um, just gonna grab this one and uh, I'm going to adapt it in the screen. So let's scroll back over here and uh, let's copy and paste the button. And uh, in this case, we can keep it like this or we can make it full width and then select the inner text and uh, center it up. So just like so. So basically what I did here um, is I selected the main text. So let's do it again. I selected the main text now and then by pressing also shift, I selected the button. And uh, what the, this is doing is basically selecting two layers at the same time. And uh, after that, the two layers are selected I am uh, simply going to press on align center and uh, what is going to happen is that the two layers will uh, center align relatively to um, the position of each other. So this is a very easy and quick way to center a text inside uh, a button and um, yeah this is uh, basically um, yeah, just the basic of uh, this uh, this kit. Um, further on with the course we are also going to see how to use symbols and uh, this is going to be very very useful because if for example we want to change the typography or the border color of uh, all these input fields but let's say that we have like 20 plus screens um, it can be a little bit uh, challenging and uh, time consuming to update uh, each and every input um, individually. So what symbols are going to allow us to do is to uh, basically change one single input and then all the other inputs across all the other screens in this specific project are going to update accordingly. This is going to save us so much time. And uh, the same is true also for buttons and uh, all sorts of other elements. Um, and this is going to be really, really useful. But for now, let's focus on the uh, main bulk of the work and um, yeah this is uh, this is really useful and uh, one one of the reasons why I use UI kits all the time um, not specifically this one but I usually um, use UI kits from uh, uh, marketplaces on uh, online and um, this can be either free or premium it really depends on the project and uh, what you're looking uh, to, to do specifically. But um, yeah, this can be a really useful and a quick way to create uh, especially forms and uh, input fields in Adobe XD. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, um, quick video. If you want to learn more, uh, please subscribe to the entire course. And um, yeah, I will uh, get back to you uh, later. And if you have any comments, just uh, drop a comment below and um, I'll get back to you. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.